So according to the Iowa Democratic Party, Pete Buttigieg won the Iowa caucus. They say that the former South Bend mayor is projected to get 14 delegates at the convention while Bernie Sanders will receive 12. Despite that, some people are very, very skeptical. Editor at The Appeal, political reporter Daniel Nichanian, he tweeted in part, please don't report the IDP results at face value. They are wrong, not just internally. Daniel joins us now via Skype to weigh in on all of this. He's a fellow at the Justice Collaborative. Daniel, welcome uh, to the show. It's great to see you. It's great to be here. Thank, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Right. So Glenn Greenwald says that you are the man to follow uh, whenever it comes to the Iowa caucuses. He was absolutely right in following now for the last week. You say not to trust these results coming out of the Iowa caucuses. Tell us why. Well, for the past for the past week, the Democratic Party of Iowa has been has been putting out these results, and every time they're very verifiably incorrect. They're riddled with mathematical errors. They are riddled with um, glaring mistakes. They have some precincts that allocate extra delegates, some precincts that don't allocate enough delegates. Over and over again, the Idomatic Party has been told about these mistakes, you know, by reporters, by, by, the, by the campaigns, I presume, by random people on Twitter who have clearly a much better grasp of the math here than anyone who's actually doing it within the party. And every time they put out again a press release that is riddled with mistakes, and here we are, he, and here we are again, a week after the after the results, with um, with really um, very many mistakes that I that, that that I can that I can go into here. But yeah. the big picture here is that the results are just not reliable enough to be reported as anything like 100% reporting, mm -hmm. to be reported as anything like, oh, this is the thing out of which we should now do the allocation of pledge delegates, at which point we are four level removes from the initial vote. Um, and that's and that's really where we are now, a week after the caucuses. Right. Yeah, I mean, the AP did, in my mind, the most responsible thing of saying, we, <laughs> we can't, can't call, call it, <laughs> right? We just don't have the data to actually know what happened here. Um, Daniel, based on your analysis, what are some of the most significant errors that still exist in the data that the IDP is putting out? I think the one of the most significant errors we're seeing across many counties is that precincts are allocating extra county delegates than they were given to allocate effectively. Um, and and that the county delegates is equivalent effectively to the state delegate equivalent, which is the count we have been seeing. So some precincts have been uh, um, allocating extra county delegates. Um, and, and what's particularly absurd about that situation is that, um, is that the, uh, the Iowa Democratic Party is saying it cannot fix the results if they are on the sheet that the local precinct sent to the state party, right? That's their defense. So first of all, that is incorrect because I have at least reported that one of the sheets for at least one precinct that is allocating an extra delegate according to the state party was allocating the correct number of delegates. So already there, there is there is there's something there's something wrong. As of Monday morning, that has not been corrected, even though that has been pointed out to them for days. I myself asked a request for comment on that 24 hours ago, um, and it still hasn't been corrected. So the fact that they're conforming to the sheets is wrong. Second of all, let's just pause a second and think about the absurdity of that claim. They're right. claiming that if a precinct allocates extra delegates to itself, it, the state party is bound to report it. What if, what if in 2024, 2028, if the caucuses still exist, a precinct allocates 500 extra delegates? I mean, I'm pushing to the absurd, but that's, that's the situation. No, you're you, right. That, on top of political situation, what a campaign can just allocate itself, you know, a million extra delegates knowing the state party is bound, is bound to report it. And the third thing I want to say here um, about that whole idea is that there have they've been reports that attorneys are, dis are disputing that claim that, that state parties are bound by, by the local rules. Um, so that's just one universe, universe of errors, this question of extra delegates. I think the other very common um, source of error is just, I mean, it's just a, a delegate has been allocated in the wrong column. Um, it should go to Klobuchar. It's going to um, it's going to Warren, or vice versa, or or any other combination. Um, the biggest source of that um, seems to be rounding errors of some kind that are ultimately understandable because um, you need to allocate a round number of delegates. 
But sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes there's no particularly clear explanation as to what as to what has happened. Um, and and I think so. Just one particularly egregious example is that in the 14th precinct of the of Des Moines, the IDP is claiming that 31 is greater than 50. It's claiming that if you get 31 votes, which if Warren got 31 votes there and got more um, county delegates and state delegates than Sanders with 50 votes. Mm. Um, that that is, I mean, that's just yeah, that's, I, that's just I, like I don't even know what else to say. Absurd and I, on its face. And I also right? want to invite all our all our viewers to just go for themselves on the state yeah. results website. They can look line by line. They can verify it for themselves. This is not this campaign story or that person's story. It's something every viewer can just go. It takes 90 seconds to verify one precinct's results. Right. And that's really what's frankly insulting here, that the Iowa Democratic Party doesn't seem to think people will just go at their own results and verify them, while they, on the other hand, are like, look, we are 100% reporting. Look, we can now... Um, allocate results quality control yeah, right absolutely. well and do you yeah. see any um do you see any particular pattern to the results do they disproportionately favor one candidate or another i have i, I do not feel comfortable saying saying yes to that i don't i don't i don't think we have seen enough to indicate a pattern a pattern of the of the sort there are um i think some errors favoring um some candidates have gotten more attention there are there are errors that also favor that also are hurting right now, Mayor Buttigieg. I think I want to put that out there. Mm -hmm. um, there are, in, in particular, my colleague Ethan uh, Corey at the Appeal. Um, one one error um, is that Senator Sanders, in many cases, um, had groups that should not have been viable that were uh, allocated delegates. So we're seeing we're seeing that as well. Um, I think the bigger picture here is that this whole quest of the right accurate result that 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 ship has sailed. This yeah. result. Are, are way past the point of being correctable. Um, the, uh, the Iowa Democratic Party is way past the point of being trusted to re to release um, accurate results. I think we have the natural yearning for what who is the winner, who won Iowa, what 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 is the accurate result here. Um, I think the fact that we are demanding corrections, that we are demanding verification, is not about finding the right result. It's about not. It's about. Um, it's about making sure that what happened on Monday is somehow respected, that people's votes are not just being um, are not just being ignored or just or just fundamentally altered. But but the point that doesn't mean that like the picture here, the goal here is like who won the Iowa caucuses. Yeah, that that's that's the best point. And think, last question right. for you: Do you have confidence the Nevada caucuses are going to go any better? Well, they have two weeks to they have two weeks to figure it out. Hopefully, hopefully they they're they're in crisis mode. I think clearly the 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 clearly the big picture here on on the on the caucuses in particular is that there's a problem with caucuses, especially when it comes to high profile, high turnout elections. Right. Um, the the issue being, as, as as we know by now, that beyond every error we've just discussed here, there's a fundamental voting rights problem. Um, even if everything had gone right here, that doesn't mean that the system could have worked. Mm -hmm. Thousands and thousands of people were not effectively allowed to participate because they were there because they could not have entered the rules of the Democratic Party of Iowa because they because of um, because they because they could not um, stand for hours because they could not afford um, they could not afford ch child care in that period, et cetera. So that is a fundamental problem that that is that is kind of true across caucuses um, that has to be fixed. Just one one example is that for the first time, Iowa held one caucus with an American sign language this year um and 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 a few people showed up because it was one site right people have had to go for hours um but that just that instead of solving it that that's a good step but instead of so solving the problem it really shows the depth of the problem across the mm. state of iowa there was one place it's a big state um one place where people could go if they needed to communicate right. in american yeah language. that's that's absurd and, so and what's happening in part of the state, state. Yeah, Such exactly. a great point to right. take that big picture view. Um, Daniel, thank you so much. Everybody should go follow you on Twitter. It's at Daniel with the T, yes. like Daniel, but with T. Um, you've been invaluable on all of this. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely.
Next on Rising, what presidential candidate Joe Biden says in his record on Social Security versus what it actually is may be two different things. We're going to talk to the executive director of Social Security Works, who says Biden's past comments on Social Security are a cause for concern. That when Rising continues.